Choose the wrong nozzle for your high pressure aeroponic system and you will regret it. It's amazing that this little bugger can cause so many problems. Atomization or the process of converting water into a very fine mist is done by pressurizing water through a very small little hole or what should be called an orifice. And that's the purpose of a nozzle. Now nozzles come in different spray patterns, come in different orifice sizes, and also they come in different materials. Let's talk about the right material that we should use for our high pressure aeroponics system. Now, the larger the hole or the larger the orifice, the less likelihood that you will get a clog. However, you will use more water and you need to run your system at a higher pressure, which we do not want. Spray nozzles or misting nozzles are available in many different types of material of construction. What are some of these materials? Well, one that you are very familiar with is brass, which is very common um, around um, lawn sprinklers. And then you have cast iron, you have stainless steel, you have polymers like polypropylene and nylon and other types of form of plastics. And then some nozzles even come in titanium. And then you have the real pricey ones that are made out of ceramic. The question is, which one of these materials will be better for our high pressure aeroponic system? Let's discuss that next. So, so which is right for your application? Well, that depends on variables like the temperature that the nozzles will be exposed to, the corrosion that it could be exposed to, any type of abrasion it could be exposed to, or any chemical reaction. So these variables will determine the right material that we should choose for our high pressure aeroponics system. Okay, let's talk about the temperature of our system. The temperature of our system should be running closely around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means that our nozzles are not really exposed to high temperatures. Now, if your unit is outdoors, and you're expecting the temperatures to rise above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, then you might want to take that into consideration. So as temperature rises, your nozzle performance will start to degrade if you're not using the appropriate nozzle. Now for us, that means that since we're running around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, we can almost use any nozzle because nozzles are actually tested in the laboratory at six to eight degrees Fahrenheit. So temperature is not really an issue when it comes to high pressure aeroponics system. Now let's move on to the next one. Corrosion. Now that is one area that we have to be careful with when it comes to high pressure aeroponics systems. Now the pH of our system probably should be around six, but if your system runs wild, like you didn't check the nutrient pH levels, you could be running higher or you could be running lower. So corrosion could be an issue. The material that is best suited for when it comes to our system, to a high pressure aeroponics system, because even due to the nutrients that we add to the system is plastic. Plastic has the best resistance to corrosion but it's only suitable in environments where high temperatures will not be reached, basically above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you can't go with plastics, the second best choice is stainless steel. Make sure you choose a stainless steel that is food grade. Now, when it comes to metal nozzles like stainless steel, we have to be careful of intermixing different metal types or different material types in our system. So if you're running brass, you don't want to use stainless steel. If you're running stainless steel, you don't want to use brass in your system. And the reason why is that when you intermix um, metals in the system, you can cause a acceleration of corrosion. By mixing different types of materials, mostly different types of metals, we can exacerbate the 
development of corrosion and reduce the longevity of our nozzles, which we do not want to do. So the best choice is to use a plastic nozzle. Abrasion is another thing that we want to look at when it comes to our nozzles. Abrasion is normally caused by salt de development in your reservoir or in your nutrient. And this can cause uh, small little particles to form that are almost like razor blade rocks. If you have a lot of salts in your nutrient, then you want to go with a hardened stainless steel nozzle. Otherwise, as we mentioned before, plastic nozzles, a polymer nozzle, would be the best choice for most high pressure aeroponic systems. Now, the last thing that we will consider when it comes to your nozzle selection, when it comes to material type, is the cost. Okay, so it's, it's common for um, stainless steel and other metal nozzles to cost more than plastic nozzles. Now, why is this a big issue for us? Well, we got to remember that if a nozzle does clog, it's almost impossible to clean it without ruining the orifice. So if you had to replace a stainless steel nozzle, it can cost you $15 to $20 a pop compared to a plastic nozzle will cost you roughly about $2 a nozzle. So if you needed to replace it because it's clogged, you don't need to clean it, just toss it and put in a new nozzle. So consider the cost when you choose your nozzle. How much is it? And would it allow you to have enough room in your budget to keep spares on hand? So the nozzle that I recommend is this one, which is a um, polypropylene or a polymer material nozzle. Okay, so here are some useful guidelines for you to follow when choosing the right material for your nozzle in your high pressure aeroponic system. One, match the material of your tubing to your nozzle. So if you're using polypropylene for your tubing, then use a polypropylene nozzle or some type of polymer for your nozzle. Two, we want to make sure that our nozzle are FDA food compliant. We don't want any contamination with our nutrient or with our plants. So, if you choose to use stainless steel, make sure that you use stainless steel 316, which is um, designed to be used with food. Another thing to consider when it comes to choosing the material type of the nozzle that you'd be using on your high pressure aeroponic system is the pressure that the nozzle will be exposed to. Most plastic nozzles can handle up to 200 PSI, okay? Now, what happens if you use one of these plastic nozzles above its pressure rating? Which a lot of people don't realize is that the orifice, okay, can be degraded or deformed. So, if you try to force um, water at a higher pressure, even though the water has no impurities in it, and is at a high pressure, you can actually cause your orifice to change its shape or size, most likely increase in size, because the nozzle was not designed for that function. So if you are running your system above 200 PSI, then you want to use a stainless steel nozzle instead of a plastic nozzle. But that gets back to the question, why are you running above 200 PSI. It is not necessary for you to do that, okay? 100 PSI is plenty for us when we need to produce 50 microns of droplet size in our system. So remember, running it between 80 and 100 will generate the mist that is required for a perfect aeroponic system. Now the nozzle that I use, it's spec at to produce 50 microns at 70 PSI. So by us running at 80 and 100, we are guaranteed that the droplet sizes are. Okay, 
So by choosing the right nozzle made of the right material and by getting it, getting it right at the first time, it will save you time, money, and headaches. So please subscribe right here now on Aeroponics DOI and let us take you where no gardener has gone before.